propose the application, and I will rely in the, on the grounds of opposition filed on 30th April 2019. Indeed, the, uh, the applicant has been charged with other um, accused persons, and the charge is a charge of conspiracy. My Lord, uh, to prove conspiracy, you have to look at other, uh, uh, or the entirety of evidence that are, is adduced in court. And reading the various counts that have been uh, raised in the charge sheet, my lord, and the particulars that have been uh, <coughs> provided for by the prosecution in the charge sheet, <coughs> you will be able to <coughs> see that there is a nexus between uh, the counts facing <coughs> some of the accused persons that now bring a uh, count one into <coughs> being drawn against the applicant. And so in this regard, my Lord, I wish to state that there is no defect the charge sheet as drawn and uh, it is uh, a case that is distinguished from the case that uh, uh, my learned senior was just referring to the one for engineer Kamal uh, <coughs> Maura my Lord is within uh, the law. If you read the particulars, the, the applicant is able to adequately prepare for his defense as required by the uh, CPC, my Lord, and Article 49 of the Constitution. There is no overload of the charge sheet. The 35 counts that have been provided for are within uh, the law that uh, on drafting of the charges. And because, my Lord, uh, the prosecution is going to bring the same witnesses to be able to prove uh, these allegations, it is for that reason that uh, the, uh, the charge sheet has been drawn as it is. Similarly, my Lord, uh, when the applicant is seeking to be tried separately, it means that uh, we are going to use the same uh, witnesses or the same evidence to prove the, the charges against the applicant vis-a-vis -vis against the other accused persons. My Lord, one cannot conspire alone, and that's why the applicant has been charged with other uh, accused persons on that charge of conspiracy. But lastly, my Lord, to distinguish this case with the case that will be referred to on page 13 of the list of bundles, in this regard, the applicant is at liberty, whereas in this other case, the learned judge was referring to an applicant who was in custody.
application for stay is made in bad faith, noting that the prosecution is ready to start the case on 6th and as clearly stated by my learned senior, we have other accused persons who are also facing trial. That is uh, 10 other accused persons. To stay these proceedings and say that we are going to continue after the stay or after the appeal is heard, my Lord, is going to also bring injustice not only to the state but also to other accused persons. That is one, my Lord. Number two. To say that uh, we uh, uh, put a stay on only one count so that we proceed with other counts against the other suspects, my Lord, also put the prosecution on an awkward position of now sitting down to start asking which witness is coming to prove for this offense and which one for this. Yet we are looking at an offense of conspiracy which can only be proved when you look at the evidence in entirety. My Lord, the applicant can proceed with his appeal which is within uh, his uh, within the law, but we pray that uh, we are allowed also to proceed with the hearing, bearing in mind that the court's diary is uh, has given the applicant only four months to be tried. And when we put a stay, my Lord, it's going to also interfere with the dates that have already been agreed upon by the applicants, by the parties in the other matter. That is all, my Lord. So I pray for this application to be dismissed.